Hello, this is Patrick with Royce, and today we'll be learning how to do an FPS character controller. This character controller is super simple, and it can be used in games like uh, Call of Duty or Minecraft or something like the finals. So let's just dive right in. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and make a character uh, body to, uh, 3D. And then we're going to have to give this character body a mesh. And then we're going to give this character body a collision shape 2D. Or 3D, sorry, my bad. I am used to saying 2D. And then this collision shape, we are going to go and just give this a capsule shape. Okay. And then uh, we're actually also going to go and give this a camera. So camera 3D. Perfect. And now let's move this character body up just to... Um, make it above the ground so I'm gonna move this to one meter and then I'm gonna go and just put give it a mesh so we can see it a little bit better I'm gonna give it a capsule mesh there we go and now let's move this camera to where we'd like it in so to right about here is where our eyes should be and now let's go and give this um, let's go and put a script on this. Okay, so new script. I am gonna call this FPS uh, character character, and I'm gonna make sure that we use this template of character body 3D basic movement. And this is the easy part. Is our job is going to be basically done in this script. Uh, let me make this bigger here for you. Um. There's only one line that we need to change, and it's this vector two input dir line. Okay, let's go back to Godot first and go to project, project settings, and go to input map. And then we'll add a new action called up, click add, down, click add, left, add, right, add. Easy enough. And then for up, we'll just go and press W. Okay, down, we'll press S, okay, left, we will press A, okay, and right, we will press D. So we'll have the, the typical WASD movement. And then close this, and now go back to our script, and go left, right, up, and down. All right, now our character can move. So let's go to Godot and test this out. Cool, great, but uh, our camera doesn't move, but we can walk around and we can jump and it's good so far. So now all we gotta do is the camera movement. Let's go to the camera and give it a script and let's go new script and we'll say FPS camera. Okay, in the camera, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go and export a FPS player or FPS character and we'll call this player and then we will export a float and we'll call this float camera speed and we'll set that to like let's just say 2f for now and then we will export a vector 2 vector 2 and we'll call this camera bounds so this will uh camera i'm gonna call this camera x bound actually and this is just gonna make sure that you can't look too high up or too low it'll just kind of keep you clamped in there and we're gonna set this to let's just say new vector 2 the defaults uh let's do 0.75 f and 0.75 f we'll probably change these later as we kind of get a more of a feel for things uh now we'll have a float here and we'll call this frame delta and we'll not set that to anything now we'll go and set the input dot mouse mode and we will set that to input dot mouse mode enum dot capture so that's going to keep our mouse in the center of the screen and it's going to make it invisible eventually you will want in your game to move this line specifically to your settings manager or whatever and uh we are gonna just in this process we are going to go frame delta is equal to float and just cast delta into the float now we are going to go public override void input and we're going to delete this now we're going to say if 
at event is input event mouse motion. We'll call this mouse movement. So if the mouse is if the input event is the mouse moving, then what we'll do is we'll go vector two velocity. We'll set this equal to mouse movement dot relative. So this is just going to be the amount of movement that happened over the last frame. So if you just move to two pixels, it'll just say you moved to two pixels. So this is just relative. It's not the position on screen. It's just relative movement. Okay. So we'll go, now we'll go vector three rotation is equal to rotation. Now what we're going to do here is go velocity is equal to new vector two. And we're going to clamp this velocity because um if our frame rate's really low so say we're getting like 10 frames per second if someone moves their mouse they could move it from like here to here and their camera would just jump really far whereas if someone has a really high frame rate they could just in the same amount of time in the same frame they may only be able to move their mouse this far and so we want to make this uh consistently maxed out we still want them to be uh able to move it faster if they move their mouse faster, but like we want to cap it. So we're going to go math f dot clamp and we're going to clamp the velocity dot x and we're going to do the minus maximum. Uh, wait, I think I forgot a variable. I did. Whoops. Uh, so go here and go export float max camera movement per frame is equal to, let's just say 15 pixels per frame. I think that's reasonable figure out what works for you and your game but um i'm just going to clamp it to 15 pixels per frame so max camera movement per frame so the negative of that and we'll go the positive of that as well so it'll keep it within 15 pixels on the x-axis per frame and we'll do that also on the y so i'm going to copy this line and do the y super simple we're just clamping it now we're going to do the rotation so the rotation dot x we're just going to set that to plus equals our negative velocity um dot x multiplied by the camera speed camera speed multiplied by the frame delta so the x rotation on your camera is uh when your camera moves up and down if we have a negative here it's going to be normal it's not going to be inverted and if we take this negative away it inverts it so you could easily uh just set a bool or something to uh, have this be inverted or not and this is where you would do that okay now let's continue uh now we're gonna set the rotation is equal to the lowercase rotation and there you go we'll have our camera moving up and down let's just go test that out right now actually and i screwed something up oh i know exactly what i screwed up i made this the velocity.x this should be the velocity.y so our mouse moving up and down not side to side okay now it's working we can look up and down we can move around we just can't look side to side so let's go and do that right now for the sideways movement what we got to do is vector three player rot or rotation so i'm just going to call that player rot and that's going to be equal to the player dot rotation okay and then we are gonna go player rot dot oh wait yeah dot y so the player rotation on the y is gonna be equal to the y rotation is the um if you look at the player this yellow arrow is the y rotation so if we rotate it on the y this y this is gonna spin around so i'm actually just i'll just show you that the rotation on the y player spins like that like that on the x and like that on the Z. So I'm just gonna set these back to zero. Perfect. I could have just hit the reset button. Wow, uh, brain fart on my part. Okay, now on the player rotation, once again, we're gonna go negative velocity dot X this time. This is the correct place to use X multiplied by the camera speed multiplied by the frame delta. So the we've got the frame delta in here just to make this completely frame rate independent. This, this character controller we don't want to be bound to the frame rate so if someone has faster frames they can move faster or slower or if someone has slower frames they move faster or slower we want it to be a consistent experience for everybody and this frame delta it allows us to do that okay now the final line of code for this whole thing is player dot rotation is equal to player rot all right now let's try out our character controller okay oh right <laughs> that makes sense i forgot to drag the player into this so let's do that 
And oh wait, I forgot one thing. So I can go wee with the camera. Everything else works, but I can definitely need to clamp that. So I need to go here before I set this rotation and go rotation dot X is equal to math F again dot clamp. And I'm going to clamp this rotation dot X. So I'm just going to copy this line and I'm going to keep this within the camera bounds. Camera X bounds dot Y. This is going to be our lower bound and our camera bound dot X is going to be our upper bound. And there that should fix the little spinning problem where we can look everywhere. And I've got the numbers set completely illogically, it looks like, because I can't look around. So let's set this camera bound to, oh, they're the same. Ha! <laughs> the Y was our lower bound, wasn't it? And that did not fix it. Oh, because um, I need to save it. And there you go. Everything's done. So I did lie. I'm sorry. That wasn't the last line of code, but now we've got an fps character controller that works and you can look around and you can move around and it it's really good you can use this for a lot of different things and just tweak the parameters as you need so like right now the camera's very fast and jittery we can slow this down or speed it up whatever you need in the future i'm going to be doing a video on how to do shooting for an fps so stay tuned for that and if you'd like to see it please subscribe and if there's anything else, if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see or any video suggestions, please let us know in the comments section. All right. Thank you very much. Bye.